first exercise for the chest, we're going to do pre-exhaustion flies. What you're going to do, do about 10 reps lower. And then when you're done, you come high. 10 reps high. That's going to pre-exhaust every area of the chest. Walking out on us, oh, or am I losing touch? Too many games, now all our trips are lost, oh, luck was now. So next exercise, we're doing the guillotine press on the flat bench. That's where you cut the bar right across the chest here. So we aren't doing bench press, guillotine press. Why are we doing guillotine press? Why are we doing guillotine press? <laughs> Just so emphasizing the upper chest, really. Exactly, Doing exactly, something yeah. different. Yeah, because yeah. at the end of the day, we don't care about power lifting. We don't care about how much weight we lifting, right? We want to look good. This, I want to look like a Batman suit. I want to just cut yeah, across. That ties in. That yeah, ties you in see the this? Yeah. Still got those two bones there. I want us to be covered in. You can see my, mine's. You can see yours? Yeah, I can see mine's. Oh, shit, yeah. So we need work more. Chest, man, we can be prioritized and have a weight, man. We got we to look towards building the muscle, breaking down the tissue, repairing, recovering, amino acids, protein, all that good stuff. Yeah, so. You ready for this? Yep. Yeah? Okay, so we got the last exercise here. That's the pec back fly. Just finish off with some flies. And a little fibers that are left in the chest are going to destroy them right now. Got our heavy inclining. Got our heavy flat in. Now it's just about isolation to squeeze the chest and get the contraction. Let's get a little bit, a little bit more blood in the area. It's just sat right now, so we're gonna check him out. See time positions. You see how high they are. He has it like that, so he can target more of the upper chest. Whereas if your hands are more lower now, of course they're gonna be working mid to lower chest. Now it doesn't matter where your hands are. You're going to hit the whole chest either way, but certain um, positions where your hands are, you can target the chest in a different way. So, he's trying to get that upper chest full, 
That's why he's doing what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Now me, I need to work on just overall chest. So I'm not gonna do the, um, the higher hand position. So I'm gonna stay stationary and just focus on the squeeze and contraction. Hey. quality rep meaning I stretch and I controlled it I came up I squeeze and I held it for a second that one second hold is powerful if you're not holding that for a second you're losing out on a lot of benefit so when it comes to muscle building prioritize the stretch prioritize the squeeze really focus on tempo meaning hold it for a second if you can slowly let it down fight the muscle uh, fight the weight with the muscle to bring it down that's gonna stretch it out break down those fibers okay so now we're moving on the shoulders you're gonna be doing behind the neck press behind the neck press is good for prioritizing the side delt and a little bit of the rear delt um now it's a safe movement but it depends on range of motion okay and it depends on weight i mean i wouldn't have three plates on this doing behind the neck i mean that's ridiculous so you want to do moderate weight. This next size, we need to focus on the stretch, focus on the contraction, focus on how it feels. You should be able to feel your side delt. You should be able to feel your rear delt. If you're not, you lift it too heavy or the form is off. So great movement if you can do it correctly, but if you can't, then just stick with the front because you don't want to injure yourself. shoulders you gotta remember this is a very small range of motion activate your shoulders so you don't need full extension to um, to hit the shoulders so you can see my range of motion is very small and because the shoulder muscles are very small muscle and doesn't require such a big long range of motion so <laughs> same thing like I said find your sweet spot stay to there Going too low, you're gonna get hurt. Going too high, you're gonna take tension off the shoulders. Find a sweet spot and just keep the contraction and the squeeze going. Okay guys, so a lot of razor for the shoulders now. This is the last set here. What we're gonna do, 25, drop, 25, drop, 25, drop, 
25 drops. We're gonna try our best to maintain perfect form. That's impossible because we have 100 reps here. And you know, for the last six, seven reps, it's gonna look like shit. But the point of this is to overload the muscle, completely overload and annihilate the muscles. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So I'm gonna go first and then miss that lean here. We'll finish it off. I open my something to kind of help me out I would do five reps pull the hair for about three or four seconds get back into it and have like this five rep tempo but painful very painful so try it out and I guarantee you will get results hey what's up guys so just finished the gym wasn't able to film everything because the camera died midway in. Still had rid of flyers to do, which is what I did. Um, I have an adapter here in my car, so I just charged the phone in the car a little bit. So that's how I'm able to film right now after the gym. But yeah, I mean, I finished up with uh, some rid of flyers in the machine. Um, did about five sets, you know, 20 to 25 reps. Like I said, focus on the squeezing contraction. And um, at, the, at the last set, I did a drop set. So 25, drop it, 25, drop it, 25, drop it for 100 reps. That's what I did. Uh, so I would say it's a very successful chest and shoulder workout. You know, nothing bad to say about it. I'm gonna go home now and have some turkey and either brown rice or potatoes, depending on how I feel, or maybe some sweet potatoes, maybe. I'll see what's going on with that. But yeah, I mean, really trying to get back in the swing of making videos. Um, you know, I mean, I've, the longest I've ever been without making videos is about uh, maybe a week or two. Um, it's been about two weeks now from right now since my last video, so it kind of feels a little awkward filming again. I mean, I'm sure people who have taken some time off of YouTube and then came back, they know what that feeling is. Just like, you know, you have to reintroduce yourself back to the camera. You have to um, kind of create that, that confidence again like you had before, just talking on the camera and just being yourself. You need to create that but yeah man I mean like I said my good workout post workout meal right now Nick Ross guys body of legends still cutting Look at the upper chest coming in wait hold on hold on let me show you guys the what's going on right here up upper chest 
He did a line down the middle, man. He need to work on that line, but that's the hardest thing in the world to get. That and the calves, huh. Like some people just naturally have a chest, man. I don't. Chest is just shit. But looking forward to the results and progress nonetheless. Nick Ross, Body of Legends. See you next time.